Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm Deb and this is Deb's Way. And I'm going to use this time um, to do a big shout out to some channels that I have been watching for a while and that mean a lot to me, okay? And that's, I, there are several channels that I really do follow quite closely that I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy and that I enjoy visiting with the people who you know produce the videos for the channel I, and I just I, I have I 100% follow them and think they're great but the channels I'm going to mention today are um, certain channels that I have followed from even before I started my my own channel and then there's a couple of them in here that I've gotten to know within the last couple months and I really do appreciate the relationship that I've kind of developed with them and the friendship that I feel with them not just in their channel but with them as people okay does that make sense I think it does so let me start and yes I have it written down not that I have to read it verbatim but it kind of helps me stay focused on what I want to say maybe yeah so and the, another reason why I'm doing this, let me just add, is because I am nearing 500 subs. I, I am so grateful, surprised, but I am so grateful that my channel has grown in the last couple of months. Now, I really have, I started this, what, late July, August time frame last year, and I did it for a socialization means. And my friend, who I'm gonna mention real soon here, Kind of talked me into doing it. I never even thought about having a channel of my own, my own because it's like, who who would want to listen to a, a a retired lady who? Well, it's not that I don't have anything to do, but what do I do that would be of interest to anybody else? You know, but it is, and I'm so happy that it is. I'm thrilled. I really am. So it keeps me going, and I I can't explain that enough. But it does, and I, I have so thoroughly enjoyed some of the relationships that I've developed over the last six months because of this, uh, my videos, and the um, discussions I've had with people who have commented on the videos. So, and let me preface this also by saying that around Christmas time, I just kind of decided that, well, at that time I had just under 100 subs, and I made myself not a goal, because I don't do goals really, but I just thought, you know what? I'm gonna work at having at least 100 subs over the next year. <laughs> and so I got busy doing it. And I started getting more people following me. And when I got 100, I thought, wow, you know, and that was within like a month, right after the first of the year practically. And I thought, well, okay, I did 100, let's shoot for 1,000. Well, I'm almost a 500 and I just cannot believe it, you know, so I just might be at that thousand by the end of the year and I will be blown away, okay? So now that I come near to the 500 sub mark, I'm thinking, what could I possibly do for a giveaway? What would somebody want from me? I don't have any tools. I don't make anything like some of the forging Yes, I even watch channels where, where there are guys that are, are forging, you know, they have their anvil and they're working on irons and doing, making things out of horseshoes and stuff like that. Yeah, I watch that. I'm interested in that. I don't have anything that I know of that they could use. I don't fish. Hmm. So I don't hunt, you know, I don't have a, um, any animals type of thing. So what could I possibly come up with that somebody else would be interested as a giveaway present when I reach my 500 subs? I'm going to have to be thinking on that. I would appreciate any suggestions that any of you all might have out there. Let me know, please. And we'll see what happens. And then for the 500 subscriber mark, I just might have to do a live video. Everybody seems to do them, like them, that sort of thing. I just, nobody would probably watch me. That's what I think, you know? So I don't know what's gonna happen with that. But anyway, if you know of any good prizes out there that, you know, you think people might like, give me a, give me a holler, okay? Let me know. But anyway, let me tell you about the, the subs. 
not the subs. I sub to them. And they sub to me too. But let me uh, tell you about some channels here that I really do like and I feel very close to the people that have those channels. And some of these are the first channels that I've ever, ever, ever watched on YouTube. So the very first one would have to be from my friend, Jeannie, who I've mentioned before. We used to work at the hospital together and she had a channel unbeknownst to me for several years before I found out about it. And her channel name is Leave Me to Peace Jeannie. She, she is a good friend of mine, as I've mentioned before. And yeah, we met when we got hired into the hospital here in Florida, into the hospital system. And I've known her for several years, but I didn't really know she had the channel. And, and, and she suggested, well, why don't you start a channel? She had, then she told me she'd been doing it for several years and, and what it was. And I checked it out and I thought, well, who would be interested in watching what I have to say or do? being, you know, an older person, retired, that sort of thing. But I thought, what the heck? I, I, I gave it a try and it was like, Jeannie gave me a shout out and some other people gave me shout outs. And before I knew it, knew it I had like 50 some subscribers and I thought, whoa. <laughs> so anyway, anyway, um, Jeannie's channel, she's, she's basically, well, like she says, she's a, a wife, a mother, a grandmother, and she just tells about how she lives her life. She's into makeup, cooking, um, crafts, music, a variety of things. And she just talks about everything, shopping too. She talks about it all on her channel and it's just kind of a, a friendly chatting type of channel, okay? She has a tomato plant too, that's her garden. And she has some, what was it, basil and rosemary. That was how she's starting her garden this year. She hasn't had a tomato off her plant yet, but it's in the works, okay? Um, and, and Jeannie is in Florida here, in Central Florida. The second channel I'm gonna shout out is one that I, I started watching at the same time I checked out Jeannie's channel and, and tried to get some ideas on, well, what would I do or what could I do that would be interesting for people to watch? And the next channel that I really got hooked on, it was called Tiny House Prepper. And it was a, a story about a middle-aged couple, well, near my age, more or less. They live in, or did live in New Hampshire, and they were caught in the 2009 time frame where there was kind of a, um, not a depression, but you know, the economy just kind of really collapsed. And they lost just about everything in that time frame. They had a business, they had a home, they had cars, you know, they, they lost all of that. They, they had homes that they had bought that rent, they rented out, that they were refurbing, renovating rather, and they lost that. And what they ended up with is they had enough money to purchase a plot of land, a small plot that had a dilapidated travel trailer on it, set up on it. And the, the guy, well, he was a builder. He was into construction. So he went and he rehabbed that little travel, travel trailer for them to live in. Well, it was a small one bedroom. They lived there for like five years. And I mean, they lived comfortably. They had, you know, sold all of their belongings down to practically nothing, or some of the things were kept in storage but they had the basic necessities in that travel trailer. And during that five year time, they showed how they existed during the winter. They didn't, well, they had a furnace. It was like a baseboard type furnace, but they didn't really rely on that. Eventually they got a, um, a little a stove, a wall fireplace more or less that it hung on the wall and you could put wood in it. That was the way that they heated the, the travel trailer. Um, and I call it travel trailer, but it really was set up on the property. It wasn't to be used for traveling any longer. But like I said, they lived there for five years. And then within the last year, their son who lived out of state and bought properties to renovate, 
bought a home on a little piece of property, some land, and he figured that they might like to live there. So they went and checked it out, and sure enough, they are buying that from their son um, and fixing it up. So they're renovating again, but they have a small three-bedroom home. It's, it's only like about 900 square feet. It's a small home, but it's lovely, and it, it is on a beautiful piece of property, and I believe it's in the country, or it's out a ways, you know, from a town area. They're, gar they're starting to garden. They never did have any like farm animals, but they have a garden and they live frugally. The name of their channel has changed. It's now Live Simple, Live Free. And that's, that's exactly their motto. They, they teach people how to live frugally, get out of debt, live happy, you know, without having major debt having new things and making do with what you have. And they, they are Thrive Food Consultants, the freeze-dried food, and um, they do some traveling with that agency and they tell about their travels. Anyway, that's the channel that I have watched for over a year, for sure. And I really do like the, the couple, that very much so. They now live in West Virginia, near their son and their grandchildren, which I'm, I'm very happy for them for that. Um, but again, their channel is called Live Simple, Live Free. And I really went off on a tangent on them, but I, I really do like them a lot, and I watch them all the time. Now, the third channel that I watch all the time, I wish they lived closer to me. I really do. It's the Page Family Homestead, Peggy and Andy, or Peggy Jean and Andy. I, they are such natural, down-to-earth people. I, I just love to watch their channel. I love them, okay? Um, Peggy has gotten me interested in doing things that I've never, ever even thought about before. And in my family, my mother never did this kind of cooking either, but I am interested in doing some dehydrating and some pressure canning. And I've got the, I've got the equipment coming to be able to do that. So... And Peggy has started a new channel also called Let's Dehydrate that I'm going to be a member of. And I should have my, my cooking utensils by this week, so I'm going to get, be getting busy in the kitchen with that. And Andy is such a good cook, too. Man, I wish I, wish I had a husband that cooked for me like Andy cooks for Peggy, you know, really. The, some of the stuff he comes up with is fantastic. He's a good cook. I'd let him cook for me anytime, okay? <laughs> So, and they live in Canada, and they're going to be moving to a, a location out a little ways in a, to a small town where they're going to have more land that they can have a larger garden, and I'm not sure what else. I don't know if they're going to have any animals like chickens or whatever, but I guess we'll find out real soon. But they, I think it is in mid-June that they're going to be at their new home. So, check them out. I, I will give the addresses of all these channels down below too, but... The name of their channel is Page Family Homestead, Our Journey Back. And they came from a, do I say a, a homestead or farming background. And when their children were all grown in that, they moved into town. Well, they found out that town just wasn't for them. So they're moving back in a way. So check it out if you have a chance. I just, I love the pages. <laughs> One of these days, we're all going to meet up here, I tell you. Okay. The next channel, I've just gotten to know this lady, and I, I really appreciate our, our contacts, our, our correspondence, and our chats, okay, over from texting or messaging. Her channel is called Real Life with Michelle, and she lives in Ohio. And she and her husband, they just go about leading their daily life, and she shows cooking and gardening and shopping, and, and um, um, he... He does a lot around the house building stuff and cutting down trees and helping her with things and yeah, I, I enjoy her channel. She's a lot of fun and she's also, same with me, getting into uh, dehydrating and pressure canning. So we're going to be learning this together and I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So I, I really enjoy my, my chats with Michelle. So those are channels that I would suggest that I am shouting out. If you have a chance, check out the channels. The addresses will be listed below. 
and if you're not already subscribed to them, do so and, and have a visit with them every now and then, okay? So that's about all I have to say for this time around. That's all I wanted to do for this channel was just do a shout out. Okay, I hope you're all taken care out there. I'll be talking to you again real soon, but it's going to be bye for this time.